YouTube star Logan Paul is facing the fallout after posting a video that showed the body of an apparent suicide victim. YouTube says the video violated the site's policies and suicide prevention groups say it could have done more harm than good. I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm just here to apologize. In a departure from his typical videos designed to entertain and make viewers laugh. Rainbow Man! Dang! Woo! Logan Paul's latest post family. offers a somber apology. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. He's facing a flood of criticism after shooting footage at a Japanese forest that has become known for suicides. Yes, sir, you think that's real? It's there Paul and his friends found a body hanging from a tree after an apparent suicide. I've never seen a dead person. He posted video of the body online with the face blurred, sparking an instant backlash. Some say Paul should be banned from YouTube. Actor Aaron Paul, no relation, tweeted, How dare you? You disgust me. I can't believe that so many young people look up to you. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down. I've never Logan Paul suffered. took down the video after it was seen by millions. He initially said it was meant to raise awareness about suicide. It just turned really way too scarily real. But mental health advocates say such images can actually be harmful. If somebody watched the, the video and is experiencing distress, you know, this could escalate their distress. And if they are going through a difficult time, they should reach out for help. Paul has more than 15 million YouTube followers, and Forbes ranked him fourth on its list of highest paid YouTube stars, saying he made $12.5 million in a year. But there's worry the competition for clicks in this social media marketplace can encourage bad behavior that's seen by millions of kids. So I think teens are definitely interested in the edginess of the comedy, but they don't realize when it crosses the line. YouTube says Paul's video did violate its policies. In a statement, the company says YouTube prohibits violent or gory content posted in a shocking, sensational or disrespectful manner. But for now, Paul's YouTube channel remains open for business. I'm disappointed in myself and I promise to be better. YouTube says it partners with safety groups like the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And if someone makes searches that are related to suicide, the top of the results page displays suicide prevention resources. Savannah and Hoda, in the wake of all this, people really want to make sure there's a push for people to understand help is available. Yeah, absolutely. Joe, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.